In today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a thrift haul. I believe this is probably my first thrift haul of the year. What is up everybody? If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica from Etta Jane's Vintage. And here on this channel, we like to focus on thrifting, vintage, sustainable fashion, and a little bit of random content in between. If that is something that you're interested in, then you've definitely come to the right place. And before we even jump into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Excuse me, is there something I can help you with? Do you wanna say hi to the camera? Okay. Let's get you out of here one second, y'all. Thank you, bye. In today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a thrift haul. I believe this is probably my first thrift haul of the year. In January, I was doing a no buy, which means that I wasn't doing any shopping. Well, I did buy like a few things, but nothing really huge. But included in the no buy also meant no thrifting. So I hadn't done any thrifting in January. So of course, when February hit, you already know your girl was hitting all the thrift stores. So I did some thrifting last weekend and then I also hit up a few thrift stores this weekend and thought I would come over here and show you all what I picked up. So the items that I'm pulling from currently are in no particular order. I just have a big pile of stuff over here that I'm gonna be pulling from and showing you what I picked up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first item. All right, so the first thing that I picked up was this black Chico's blouse. It is sheer and long sleeve. Let me see if I can pull the sleeve out for you so you can see. But if you can tell on camera, it has this kind of like floral pattern. It is sheer. It is 100% silk. And I thought this was really good just to pair with like some jeans. I don't have a lot of black tops. And if you know me, you know, I also don't wear a lot of black. But I saw that and I was like, oh, that'd be really cute to wear with like some wide leg jeans and just kind of have the top button buttoned up. So I picked that one up first. And then I found another blouse that is very similar, but also in black. And I'm going to button part of the collar so you all can see what this one looks like too and get a visual of course you'll see it in the try on here on the screen as well but this one is by the brand notations it also is another sheer blouse but this one does have the ruffle detail on the front and then it also has the ruffle detail here on the cuff of the sleeve which i thought was really cute so just another one that is really easy to style and you can just throw on and go especially if you don't really feel like putting a full outfit together just take one of these blouses and throw it on all right next thing that i picked up is this really pretty scarf so it is in green pink purple with this really pretty floral detail I almost look like orchids i think and this one is silk it is by the brand galleria and yeah i thought this would just be really good to style any kind of way wear it as a headscarf wear it as a top you can tie it on a belt loop or anything like that so yeah that was really cute and i think i picked that one up for maybe like a dollar and 90 cents if i can remember the prices of the items i will go ahead and let you know or i'll put it somewhere here on the screen most of the things i've already cleaned and removed the tags so i don't have the tags on there with the prices but i'm pretty good at remembering how much stuff costs so i'll go ahead and let you know if i do remember all right, the next thing that I picked up is this super cute 70s. Everything I have is just not buttoned up. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up is this super cute 70s vest. It is a orange knit and I just love the tag on there if you all can see that. I have a thing for like old vintage looking tags so when I saw this, I was like, oh, this would be perfect, especially since right now the vest trend, vest trend 
is still going pretty strong so I felt like this would be a really good way to add a super cute vest to my closet and something that I would actually wear I do have another vest here that is a sweater vest and I think I purchased a sweater vest maybe last year sometime that I thrifted in another video but I don't really wear it as much so I feel like this one is a little bit more my style and I'm hoping that I'll get more wear out of it okay next thing that I picked up is this pair of Bermuda shorts by Ralph Lauren you can see the tag here they are in this really cute plaid print but the only thing is they do not fit me they are a size 8 they are 100% linen so when I saw them I'm like well let me just pick them up to see if they might fit me I mean they fit okay around the legs and the hips but the waist is definitely not hitting so these will probably end up going on my site again they are 100% linen and I think this will be really cute if you're going for like a preppy look especially with the like sweater vest or whatever else you might pair with it a cute little turtleneck some boots and tights I think that would be really cute so if you are interested in these keep an eye on my website because more than likely they will be going up next thing that I'm going to show you is another sweater vest I know I showed you the orange vest and I talk about my whole thing with the sweater vest but I did pick this one up it was really good quality it is by the brand Cambridge Classics from Mervyn so you know this is old Mervyn's has been closed for so long but I like the knit and also just the gray buttons on the front and because the color is so neutral I feel like it should be pretty easy to style so I picked this one up for three dollars and ninety three cents all right next thing that I picked up is this black blazer I actually do not own a lot of black blazers so I saw this one I believe it was like two bucks so because it was super cheap, I'm like, let me just grab it because I definitely need a black blazer in my closet. One of the things that I really like about this one is the pattern on here. And I'm not sure how well it's picking up on the camera, but it's also maybe like check, like a check print. And it has some kind of embroidery to outline the boxes of the check print. So this is basic, but I thought it was really cute and just would be simple to wear to work or also just style with some jeans. And this one was $2.50, I believe. Right, next up is another blazer. It is in this teal color, this cute wool blazer with this little emblem here on the pocket. This is by the brand Oleg Cassini. I actually have a second Oleg Cassini blazer that I also picked up on this same day but from two different thrift stores so this one is actually dead stock if you all can see it still has the original tags on there it was $59.99 from Lomans and Lomans is closed too so you also know that this is pretty old and it is 80% wool 20% polyester this one will probably end up going on my shop too but I have to think about it a little bit to figure out if I'm going to be able to style it or not but if not you will definitely be able to find this on my Etsy shop next is the second Oleg Cassini blazer that I found in the same day again but from a different thrift store this one is so cute with this black kind of trimming here it also has the really nice buttons it has the black trimming on the pockets and then as well as the buttons here on the sleeves so this one i had to pick up now the only thing about this one is the sleeves are super short and that is because it is a petite it looks like uh sizing is it's a size 10 but it's a size 10 petite so the fit is really good but the sleeves are super short so I probably will have to wear the sleeves pushed up but that's fine because I normally wear my blazers with the sleeves pushed up anyway so this one will be really cute and also it's warm because it's wool so it's perfect for this time of year all right next thing I'm going to show you is another blazer this one is 
a gray blazer and it also has that like subtle check print you've probably seen me through these type of blazers before but these are really good to just throw on with a t-shirt i also will probably be posting this one because i have two that are very similar but i think this is probably my favorite style like oversized go-to blazer because the colors are super neutral and also the fit is really good as well it's a little bit longer too so you could probably wear it as a dress maybe throw a belt around it there's so many different ways you can style it but i would say that if you get a blazer from the thrift store this is definitely the color palette and the type that you should look for even the material and the weight of it is like not too heavy but it's heavy enough that you can style it with a lot of different things so this is definitely a good find and this one was a dollar fifty it was three dollars i think but they were doing half off of certain color tags so that one was only a dollar fifty all right next thing that i picked up is this track jacket or this windbreaker style jacket it has this really cool like 90s print on the front and all these different colors it's a little bit more abstract this one is also dead stock i actually found a few things that were brand new but here's the tag it's by the brand Sunterra in the size large so pretty much brand new and I don't own a lot of track jackets so I thought this would be a cute one to add to my collection and also I love the colors I love the green too green is my favorite color so I will enjoy styling that okay next up is this oversized cotton shirt it is in almost like a banana color or a tan and i certainly will get a lot of wear out of this i love to wear these types of shirts just with like biker shorts and a t-shirt or with jeans it's such an easy layering piece to throw on so i thought this was a really good thing to pick up it is 100 percent cotton by the brand norton studio and this one was maybe like a dollar fifty or two dollars this was another one that was half off at one of the thrift stores that I went to in Long Beach, they were doing 50% off all women's long sleeve tops. So that was another one that was 50% off. Okay, next thing I picked up is this super cute darling two piece track set. This is the jacket. It is so cute in this pink color. And what I really loved about it was this super little delicate collar here. It also has the same detail here on the sleeve cuff so this is what the jacket looks like opened up and then it came with of course the matching pants so these are the pink trousers that came with it they are a little bit more cropped actually i believe that this is a petite as well so that is probably why it comes up a little bit short on the ankle but this is the brand the brand is called teddy and here on the tag it definitely says petite i don't know what the actual size is maybe i would say like a size medium but i thought this was so cute and unique and i hadn't seen anything like this before with this type of collar mixed with the like swishy material so i had to grab this and this one was i believe three dollars all right next thing that i picked up is this black puffer coat it is really cute it also has like a paisley print and i'm not sure if that's really picking up on the camera but that was one of the things that i thought was super unique about this jacket it is shorter and it has a little bit of a v detail in the back it has a zipper as well as some snaps and the other thing that i really liked about this is the button detail if you can see the buttons kind of look like they have suns on them so i thought that was really cute it is of course vintage i mean look at that tag it is by the brand fall line in a size medium this is originally like a ski jacket but of course you can wear this in just your regular winter so this one was also a really good price i think it was like eight bucks so eight bucks for a full jacket you definitely cannot beat that all right the last three things that i'm going to show you are pants so the first pair of pants that i picked up was just a pair of camo army fatigue pants 
you can never go wrong with a good pair of camo pants these ones will also probably end up going on my shop because i already do have two pairs of camo pants but i definitely just want to grab these anytime i find them in good quality i'll definitely pick them up and then the next pair of pants i got was a pair of levi's this is in a 560 cut with a 38 waist so they are pretty big on me but i want to do like another rework situation i saw this really cute pair of margella jeans not the ones with the cuts in them those are also really cute but there are some where the side is sewn and it looks like it's kind of sticking out I'll, I'll pop a picture up somewhere here on the screen if i can find it but i wanted to find a pair of jeans that were a little bit bigger on me so that way i could try to diy a similar pair of jeans to that margella style so i might film that too if i do of course you all will be the first ones to know but yes i picked up these levi's and i believe these were 3.99 all right and last but not least is another pair of jeans these are wrangler i love my wranglers but one thing that i really liked about this is that they were already cropped so i'm thinking that maybe somebody probably bought these before and went ahead and cropped them and just kind of washed them so that the bottoms were a little bit more distressed but these definitely have the perfect perfect crop on them these are in a size 38 as well so they're a little bit big for me but i think that i can make them work especially if i just wear them with a belt or if i want to wear them a little bit more low rise or low slung i think that would be really cute i also am in the market for a new pair of favorite jeans my other favorite jeans which are a pair of ralph lauren jeans that i bought many many years ago they actually got a rip under the butt which is cute but now it's starting to rip like through the crotch as well which is not so cute so hopefully these can maybe replace my favorite pair and if not i definitely will still be on the hunt all right so that was my quick but collective thrift haul let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite item i look forward to seeing you all in the next video until next time bye